Machine Experiences It's often said that we are shaped by our experiences. The implication here is that we learn from experiences and modify our actions as a result of reflecting upon them. Is it possible for a machine to do the same? The promise of machine learning and related artificial intelligence techniques is that machines might be able to learn from experience. If they can, how does that affect our design of human experiences with learning machines? Somewhat like people, machines can get information about the world through sensors. These sensors include cameras, microphones, temperature gauges, accelerometers, keyboards, touch surfaces, and so on. Computers can be programmed to process that information, to sort data, to find patterns, to translate, and to generate new data. These seem like capabilities that humans have also. We often talk about intelligent machines and smart devices as ones that do things which, if a human did them, would be considered signs of intelligent behavior. This anthropomorphic language is, is, is widespread and it shows how we project human capabilities onto machines very often. But there are limitations to these parallels. Computers don't have emotions or ambitions, except perhaps in science fiction films. Computers can learn, however, and in recent years, the field of machine learning, a popular artificial intelligence technique, has advanced significantly. As machines learn, usually by example or by mimicry or through extrapolation of patterns in data, they are able to change their behavior over time and adapt their responses to circumstances and interactions in ways that seem useful, or perhaps sometimes seem creepy, and that increase their potential agency and their independence. However, computers don't need to use the latest advanced AI techniques in order to act in interesting ways in the world. Many interactive systems use simple behavioural rules to operate in interesting ways. Like, for example, a robot vacuum cleaner that wanders about the house like ants foraging for food and it eventually cleans all of the areas of the floor. We'll discuss the issues of artificial intelligence in more detail in later parts of this course, but for now we're interested in experience of both people and machines. So how similar are human and machine experiences? Or is it even sensible to talk about machines having experiences at all? An interesting way to think about this topic is to consider whether or not our mind could be uploaded to a computer. Could our mind exist outside our body, in a machine? Perhaps living on past our death? To do so would require some correspondence between the human and the mind and the computer. To what extent does this correspondence exist? Are there similarities? Or is this pure fiction? Regardless of our conclusion about machine experience, a few points are worth remembering about creating and evaluating engaging user experiences. Experiences are personal. Experiences are holistic. They involve the mind, the body and the environment. There are many methods or techniques for inquiring into experiences. Artists and designers work on creating an experience. And complementary sense integration between people and machines is possible, and we use interactive technologies to produce enriched experiences based on this complementary integration. <laughs>